the white man that landed here, he came with two great weapons. One is the Bible and the other was the gun. If it didn't humble you with the Bible, it crumbled you with the gun. There wouldn't be an America if it wasn't for black people. We take care of America. We, we hold America to our bosom. We feed America. We make love to America. America's always going to be okay as long as black people don't totally lose their mind because we'll pick up the pieces and we'll turn it into a new dance. Dr. King's policy was if you are nonviolent, if you suffer, your opponent will see your suffering and will be moved to change his heart. That's very good. He only made one fallacious assumption. In order for nonviolence to work, your opponent must have a conscience. The United States has none. Has none. You ask me whether I approve of violence. Uh, I just, uh, I just find it incredible. It, because it, what it means is that the person who's asking that question has absolutely no idea what black people have gone through, what black people have experienced in this country since the time the first black person was kidnapped from the shores of Africa. <laughs> And that's what you don't realize about these people is that none of these people are evil or bad or, or even extra violent. It's just to them, common sense meant that they had to speak and stand up for themselves. And it shows you the, the power of those words is that they resonate even to now. <laughs> <laughs> 